Good day. We're here on this wonderful day. Don't you miss it, Rabbi Kazi? Rabbi, what about Yom Kippur the day before Yom Kippur? Do you do Ano Tachnos also or no? No. No? So all... With Shaharit, no. Minha, we do. The Rambam writes, we do it during Minha because we're scared that he's not going to get Zichut to live to Yom Kippur. Okay, and he might choke on a sandwich. Has Shalom. And he might not live to Yom Kippur, and therefore we do vidui. We're here on this wonderful Wednesday morning. We are today studying the Yada Hazakat, the Rambam, by Manaris. He wrote a very, very uh, uh, important work. It's a monumental work. A work that encompasses all of the Torah. Torah Shibiktav and Torah Shibal Peh. Everything came inside my book. Inside his book, says the Rambam. It's called the Mishneh Torah. Says the Rambam. Any command you have in the Torah... Whether it's a positive, whether it's a negative. If a person transgressed any of them, whether it was on purpose or whether it was by accident, when he does the shuva, when he does repentance to return from his sin, he must confess his sin. Hayav vadut. He must confess the avira that he did. In front of God Almighty. There's a pasuk. If they do any sin to be moel, to, to, to transgress, to me'ila, uh, literally means to uh, miscon- no, misappropriate, consecrated property. It's like go against the Gadosh Baruch Hu. And that soul becomes guilty. They must confess their sin that they have done. Any sin you have done. Let's say you didn't put on tefillin. I can get a napkin. You didn't put on tefillin. You decide, you know what, I'm sorry. Okay, you're sorry, very nice. You have to get up and run up Hashem and say, Hudovan Hashem itbarach. Ana Hashem, atati, aviti, pashati. I'm sorry that what? That I didn't put on my tefillin today. Says the rabbi, and says the rambam, and doing this is a fulfillment of a positive commandment. It's like, tefillin is a positive commandment. It's, it's a positive commandment. There's one more commandment of the 613, and that is to confess the avera that a person did. Says the rabbi, Ketzad mitvade, Omer, Al Hashem, Hatati, Maz e Het. It's a Het, it's a transgression that's um, accidental. Okay? Aviti, Aviti, ze intentional. Yeah? Aviti, I knew what I was doing. Pashati, Maz e Pashati. Pashati is married. He went rebelled against Hashem, Az e Shalom. Yes, like he has a Now, Lefanecha, who did I sit in front of? It's all in front of Hashem. Hatanu Lefanecha. The vidu is Lefanecha Hatati Hashem. One thing is to do the sin, but when I was doing the sin, I was in front of you. Hashem was watching me. When I did this Avera, Hatanu Lefanecha. Yeah, I once said a anecdote slash story of a father. He used to have a big safe in the house, and all of his money he would put inside the safe. Rich guy. His son always wanted to ask, Papa, how much you got in the safe? What are we worth? He said, Johnny Dadesh, don't ask. Don't ask such questions. So one day the father and the son wants to see what's inside the safe. And Stover Chloyd is that father never leaves the house. When the father leaves the house, the mom is home. When the mom leaves the house, the father's home. They're always home. Mm-hmm. One day both parents are going to a wedding. As they're leaving for the wedding, yeah, the kid says to his six siblings, he says, listen, everybody who goes to sleep tomorrow, swishy on me. Right away, all six of them, doop, 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 doop. But everybody went to sleep right away. Uh, no, they, they, they went to sleep. He right away walks into the parents' room. He starts turning the knob. Yeah, he turns the knob right, turns the knob left, turns the knob right. He opens it up. Whoa, $100 bills. Stacked, stacked. And he doesn't know how much it is. Starts to count. Two, but one, two, three, four, five. Meanwhile, his father's on the bus stop with his mom. They want to go to Yerushalayim. And as they want to go to Yerushalayim, the bus is not coming. The bus is not coming. 30 minutes they wait on the bus stop. Finally, the bus pulls over. And, uh, the bus pulls over, opens the door. And still, <coughs> he says to them, where are you guys going? We're going to Yerushalayim. He says, no, this bus is not going. What do you mean? He says, Yerushalayim. We're not going to Yerushalayim. But, no, wait for the next bus. Okay, Hazak Baruch, the father got t- sick and tired already. He says to his wife, so, Yeti, where are we going? Going back home. He says, what do you mean? We have a wedding. Forget this wedding. I'm tired already. They're going back home. They come back home. They see the lights are all off. Kids are all sleeping. They see the lights in the bedroom are on. 
Wow, 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 wow. Father walks, crawls into the bedroom. He opens the door, and guess what he sees? Two. One million. One million, one hundred. One million. He's counting over there. The son is counting. Two. And now he was counting. He's counting. He's counting. And the father's watching this. It's amazing. He says, Masha, huh? The kid almost fell off the chair. Mata was saying, what are you doing? And the son's there with money in his head. He looks at his father. What are you going to answer your father? And my little bit. And my, you can't answer your father. He says, I was so ashamed. So ashamed in front of my father. There was nothing to. He says, it's one, it's one thing to do something wrong. It's another when your father is right there. He's watching you. That's what we say to Hashem. Atanu lefanecha Hashem. In front of you we did it, Avera. You were there. To your right we did Avera. Which is bad. It's true. But Hashem, I'm sorry that in front of you you were watching me. That I did that Avera while you were watching. So we said to Hashem, Hashem, I did hate avon et pesha lefanecha. Ve'asiti kach vekach. Ve'areni hamti uboshti b'maasai. I'm ashamed. Yeah, and I regret my actions. Ule'olam eni hozer b'davar zeh. This is a very hard line. Le'olam, I will never do the sin again. Most people to say, Hashem, Billy Nader, I'm not going to do it again. You know those guys, the Billy Nader guys? The guy, he goes, the guy, he goes, he robs a bank. He says, Hashem, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm never going to do it. Billy Nader, Hashem, Billy Nader. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> There's no such thing as Billy Nader. <laughs> In this aspect. What? There are sins that people do repetitive, but you can't control it. You know, like... Everyone talks avak lashonara, not lashonara. I don't talk lashonara. I hope. Now, Belinet, I'm kidding. Now, like this. Everybody has, everybody gossips everything. Avak. Okay, he says, but how do you control? But how do you say I forgive you? I won't do it again. But you know, it's hard. Hashem, Eidrat Cha Eliona. I'm gonna work on myself. I'm gonna learn the halachot with your help, Hashem. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it anymore, huh? Avak is the dust of of of, of, of lashonara. That means you're not saying lashonara specifically, explicitly, but you namikaish to lashonara. Yeah. For example, oh, go to Malkiel's house. They're always cooking. What does that mean? They're always cooking. Yeah. It's namikaish shalavik like a kid. So that's considered the dust of lashonara. That people do. Lashonara itself, not everybody speaks Lashonara. Some people... No, everybody gossips. Not, not everybody. I try not to talk about anybody. Everybody's, there's no conversation. Right, Malkiel? Anybody knows your secrets? No, you and I don't know. I'm kidding. But the point is... Yeah, I'm not recording anymore. So he says, So he says, Look at what the Rambam says. Anybody who does more vidui, Umarich v'hinyan zeh, Are zeh meshubah. The more you do vidui, the more you get zikhud. Now one more thing. How much does a baran cost today? $400. Baran is about $500, I would assume. I don't know, I haven't bought one. But let's say a baran is five. A baran is a sheep. A sheep is about four, $500, I'm assuming. I don't know, whatever it is, let's say. You bring a sheep to Bet Amikdash. Why? You did a sin. Yeah? If you don't do vidui for the sin... You, you bring a kurban. You don't say, Hashem, I'm sorry for my sin. This kurban should be kapara. You just wasted $500. What do you mean? I gave $500 to Bet Amikdash. You wasted $500. Why? You didn't get the point. The point is teshuva. Another thing. Imagine a guy. You see him halal Shabbat. You see him smoking a cigarette outside. His... <laughs> Shabbat, man. Oh, come on. He says, ah, don't worry, Rabbi. Don't worry, don't worry. My heart's going to go to Gan Eden. Okay, Chazak Baruch. His heart and his pocket is going to go to Gan Eden. Why his heart? His heart's going to go to Gan Eden because they don't have His pocket's going to go to Gan Eden because that's where his keeper is. Yeah? So I'm going to say that. Now those two places are going to go to Gan Eden. Everything else is head. I don't know where it's going to go. But the idea is... Is that is that a person you see him smoking cigarette on Shabbat? What's the what's the uh, p- penalty? Sekila. You gotta take him. A whole story in the bet in the in the bedin. They would try him. Two witnesses have to warn him. Hello, today Shabbat. Just leave me alone. I know it's Shabbat. You throw him off. Over there. I don't want to give you the whole mechanism on how they would uh, stone a guy, but it, it didn't happen so often, right? It didn't happen, right? But the idea is is that he would get stoning if he doesn't say a shame. My mita has shalom should be my kapara. My death should be my atonement. He died for no reason. For free. What do you mean for free? The point of his penalty was to clean him when they lash you. Ta, ta. They lash you. 
Yeah, to, you ate a Burger King. I don't know what. Yeah, imagine Burger King sends me a lawsuit now. But the idea is, is that you ate, you ate something not kasher, and they lash you. Yeah, if you don't do vidu, you don't say Hashem, I'm sorry. This lash is makot should be is kuplenio ma'ik You got hit for no reason. Losing like that, prichot yom kippur. Rabbi, ah, man a sachtar zinet, man a gunom. I don't know. I have a lot of sins. Hit me harder. Yeah, should you hit them harder or not? <laughs> Sometimes you hit them hard. He feels all chisting key. He goes right back to doing averot. No to so be careful. Anyway, the butay. He says you have to know. Bisman chen bet amigdash kayam ve'enano mizbech kapara en sham elat teshuva. We don't have bet amigdash. We don't have mizbech. We don't have kaparot. What do we have? The teshuva. Teshuva is the rabbam. It's mechaperet al kol averot. Afilu rasha kol yamav. You can have it shilavex lajeni gajai off the derech. Yeah. He did teshuva. Now don't try this at home. He did teshuva the last day of his life. Last day. He says chodovan. I'm sorry. And maskirin lo shem rish rishon shneimar verishat arasha lo yikashel bach beyom shuvu merishon. Now by it's so much. I'm going to put him a chaper and shavim shneimar. Ki beyom azay chaper alechem letaher etchem. You do the shuvah. Says the Gemara. There are four elements of the shuvah. Four chiluke kapara. Four categories of kapara. One is a guy didn't do a mitzvah ase. What's a mitzvah ase? Eat in the sukkah. Eat matzot. It's a mitzvah to say. Pesach, eat matzah. He didn't eat matzah. He says, leave me alone. I don't want to eat matzot. Now, what happened? He didn't eat hametz. No, he didn't eat hametz. Ah. He didn't eat matzah. He ate kartoshki. Oh, just no Kartoshki. Just and sushi. That's what he ate. He didn't eat uh, matzah. He didn't eat. Matzot, the halakha, no, the Torah says, you, you, you went against the mitzvah to say. Hashem, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You know what? I'm going to do it next time. Say that. Right then, you're forgiven. Right away, you're forgiven. But what if I did something negative? For example, God said, don't eat lobster. Rabbi, I'm on vacation. Yeah. yeah. Does, does my does my neshama have free roaming? You know, those uh, roaming. <laughs> my neshama has roaming. Or my neshama, no, 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 no. Your neshama, wherever you go, free roaming. The neshama goes with you. Don't think, you know, when I go to Israel, I have to get a different cell phone or a different SIM card, yeah? yeah. Don't think you, 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 desh- no, you, you, you go. Huh? Yeah, you're, you're the same person. You take your whole essence. Yeah, to meet Mitzrayim or to wherever it is that you're going. And over there you have to behave. But you want to eat lobster. God forbid a person ate. He ate. Yeah. Hashem, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry? Very nice. I love you, my child. I forgive you. There's one problem. In order to get kapara, you have to wait now. For how long? Yom Kippur. Oh. Only Yom Kippur is going to come and do kapara for your avera. But wait. What about Pesach? Now one guy's eating kartoshki, the next is shorty kartoshka me pitaisa. Let's go, get a big mac, get I don't know what, as a shalom. Get something <laughs> a bun, yeah, some some hamed, gishmak, yeah. One guy tells me, Ayo menora. He says, I came to my father's house, yeah. He says, My father is cooking honey buns on Pesach. Kashmar. Unbelievable. If our grandparents, if they ever heard of such a thing, they would have mamesh, they would have turned Chas Shalom in their graves. He's eating honey buns, the guy. At Pesach said, "Shalom, Hassani, good." The point is, is, is the idea is, is that if I ate this honey bun on Pesach, yeah, Hashem, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, fine. You're sorry, good, very good, no problem. Yom Kippur, Hashem, I'm sorry. Ten thousand dollar parnasa. It doesn't help you. Why doesn't it help you? You have to wait now to suffer. What do you mean? Have to wait to suffer? You're gonna suffer a little bit. You're gonna get a parking ticket. You're gonna get a slap on the wrist. You're gonna stub your toe. You're gonna get a bruise on your lashka. You're gonna get ah, why? Lashka, you ate hamets on Pesach. Oh, okay, okay, fine, fine. Tobe kadam, tobe kadam. You have to suffer a little bit for karet. It doesn't just go away. What's a good way to get rid of karet? I'll tell you a way. Good way to get rid of karet. The sun sets. Let's say 7:45. You say from 7:45 tonight until 6. What time is next this morning? Whatever it was. 5:30 was next. Morning olam. I'm awake the whole night. Limud Torah, Tefila, Tehilin, Tikkun Atzot, Selichot. In the morning you go. Netzah Hama, you daven Shacharit, and then Mahamapil Hamle Shena. You can go to sleep afterwards for a few hours, but you stay awake the whole night. You study Torah. That's a Tikkun Karet. How many nights? Oh, depends how many times you had Hamid. Anyway, now Karet is not only for Hamid. 
if I ate in a certain restaurant that's not kasher, and they had certain fats, chalavim, inside, isur kare, gidan hashem says isur kare, I don't know, but yeah, we have to learn this again. But the idea is, is yes, that, I ate Hametz on Pesach, I ate on Yom Kippur, I, I, I turned on the light on Yom Kippur, I mean, Alev Shabbat, two days, all of these are Yisun Karet. We have to get rid of the Karet. How do you do it? I'm sorry. Okay, good. I forgive you. No problem. What is it like? Imagine I take my brand new, uh, 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 let's say, Honda. I say, Adam, where do you live? I'm going to give you free demolition. Ah, right into the car. Right, right into your house, yeah? I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Okay, very nice. I forgive you. But who's going to build me the house? I, uh, so, so too, but we say to Hashem, I'm sorry, this is good, but you have to have kapara, kapara only when there is a little tach, 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 for Yisur Karet. What if, Hashem, Azim Shalom, Mazah Hilul Hashem, you see a guy who came to synagogue at 7.30 in the morning, Beautiful. Now, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Unbelievable. 8, 9 o'clock, 9, 9, 9, 9 o'clock. He comes to Shi'ur. 9 30, he walks outside and somebody said something to him. You blocked my driveway. You should never block anybody's driveway. So, who do you think you are? Screaming, 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 screaming over the. You big tzaddik, but you just did an avira. Yom Kippur cannot help you, and your suffering cannot help you, and I'm sorry, cannot help you. Why? You embarrassed God's name. Because Jews don't behave this way. I says, yeah, kai kom. You behave this way? Oh. The Gemara says, Echi dame chilul Hashem. Amar Rabbi Yohanan. Chilul Hashem is based on your level. Yeah? Ki gon ana, says Rabbi Yohanan. If I walk on ba'amot, velo Torah, velo tefillin. Another rabbi said, if I walk to the butcher, and I tell him, he's on, ha? So that's a patom zapla chu, yeah? In some cases, that's a hailul hashem. People say, eh, the rabbi doesn't pay for his meat. But he pays. He has a, no, 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 you have to be very careful. To be clean. So the idea is, Rabotai, is that we must be extra careful, especially in the month of Elul, to do teshuvah. And when a person does teshuvah, Hashem forgives him so much. So I told you guys in Gemara once, and we'll finish with this. You have a guy. You saw him seven minutes ago eating at Burger King. Seven minutes ago. Yeah? He finally saw you. He tells you, Rabbi, did you watch me eat here? He said, yeah, I watched. He says, Baruch Hashem, it was under rabbinical supervision. Okay, everything is... Uh, <laughs> everything is good. Everything is beautiful. Maybe a month. Yeah, it's under rabbinical supervision. Yeah, the Rabbi, the Rabbi, the Rabbi, he said, he said, he אז הוא שאל את הרב, הרב, הסתכלת עליי, ראית כשאכלתי? כן. אז ברוך השם זה בהשגחת הרבנים. כן? אז בסדר. נאו, he ate his burger king. What was I saying over there? I lost my train of thought. You saw him eating at burger king. Yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh, now, seven minutes later, he walks out. Goes like this. He finds a nice girl on the street. He takes out a ring. He comes to the girl, he says, okay. I want to say whatever her name is. Sara! Okay, Sara. She sticks out her ring, her finger, he puts the ring on. Are they married? Yes. No, no, but wait, I messed up. On condition that I'm a perfect tzaddik. I'm on condition that I'm a perfect tzaddik. Maybe five minutes ago you were eating... Halavim, and he's like Karet, and I don't know what, and Basar Bechalav. Now you're saying, I'm a Tzadik Gamur. Says the Gemara, Mekudeshit. Why? Shema Yireir Teshuvah Belibu. Maybe he had Teshuvah in his heart. The power of Teshuvah is so great that Hashem is, Yemincha Peshuta Lekabel Shavim. His hands are stretched to receive you. Any person who wants to come close to Hashem says, I'm ready, come. My hands are already ready for you. So the idea is we must utilize this month to come closer to Him. And Hashem should bless us with the zikhut. And not only we, but our entire families, cousins and uncles and grandchildren and everybody. Amen. Amen.